Welcome to your Kahoot app tutorial. Today I will be giving you information about how to use Kahoot in your everyday classroom. Kahoot can be used on many different platforms, but the easiest I believe is using the iPad. If you were going onto the App Store, you would want to search Kahoot, like it's spelled in the top right hand corner. You'll want to look for the one with the purple logo. Once the app has been downloaded, you can open it using the open button or you can access it on your home screen and it will look a lot like this purple logo. Once you open the app, you will come to a screen that looks a lot like this. This will normally be where your students will enter in their information or game pin, but today you'll be creating your own Kahoot, so you'll need to go down to this website that says getkahoot.com. Once you arrive to get a hoot, getkahoot.com you'll need to go to the upper hand corner where it says sign up for free you'll want to click on that so you can sign up for your own account unless you already have an account then you would go to sign in this is also where you would want to go back if you want to create a new kahoot later on once you have clicked sign up you'll want to select as a teacher you will also notice that there is an as a student option this would be a good suggestion for if you are having your students facilitate lessons that they could use um, a Kahoot to recall on prior knowledge or for the end of their lesson to see if the students or their peers have learned. After you click on the bubble that says as a teacher, you will need to create your own account. So you'll need to write in your school, pick a username, but they will tell you if your username is already taken you can put in your email address and create your own password for when you want to go back and make another Kahoot. After you've made your account, it will take you to create a new Kahoot page. So there's different ways you can use it. You can use it to jumble. It's a new game that the Kahoot came out for a survey to see what the students' views are, to facilitate a debate, or for a quiz. Today we'll be learning about how to make a quiz. So you'll want to click on quiz. After you click on quiz, you'll get a page that looks exactly like this. You'll have to enter in a title right there, and then you'll have to enter a description. But you can also enter in hashtags there, which is kind of neat. And you can select your audience. For mine, I selected schools because we would be primarily using this in a school setting. And I think it's also cool you can add in an intro video. So if you want to have them getting pumped up before or if you were uh, watching a video, you can see what they've learned from the video. And then after you're done, you'd want to press OK Go. After you press OK Go, you'll come to a page that looks exactly like this, and you'll want to add a question. Then you'll come to a page that looks exactly like this, where you'll be able to enter in your question along with your responses down below. Make sure when you're creating your responses, you select one of them as the correct answers and select it with green, so then it will know which one's the right answer. You can also set a time limit here. There's a drop down so you can make it longer or shorter as needed. And here's a fun option to reward prizes. This just um, allows it to rank who comes in first and it's kind of a fun activity for students to see how fast they can respond to the answers. After you're done creating your question, you'll want to make sure to press next. After you press next, you'll come back to your main screen like this. And if you wanted to add more questions, you would press add questions. But if you are done and you have enough questions, you would want to click save is what we are going to do today. To play your Kahoot, you'll go to play Kahoot. And so you'll have two options where they can be a team mode or they can be on a one-on-one -on -one thing. Today we're going to do a one-on-one -on -one option. On your screen it will look much like this where your students will have an option to join your Kahoot and they'll get a game pin. For your students you would need to make sure that they go to the .com Kahoot dot it and then enter in their game pin. Once the students have entered in their game pin, they will have an option to put in 
their nickname. Make sure you go over the, with their students what their nicknames can be and what they should be. So if you were using it as a quiz, you'd want to probably make sure that they use their first and last name versus a username. On your student's screen, they will see four options, a triangle, a diamond, a circle, and a square. Once you have opened the question, they will have 20 seconds to correct, select the right answer. On your screen or projector, it will look much like this. So each little symbol stands for one of the answers. As you can see, the triangle stands for creating quizzes. The square stands for all of the above. And the question would be up top. And you have your question, how can Kahoot be used in the classroom? And you see that there's a countdown going on. And then once it has been answered, you will see a little bar graph that tells you who answered what, but it won't tell you exactly who answered, but it will tell you what the majority of the class answered. After you're done with that, you'll want to click Next. If you had more questions, they would pop up after you click Next, but today we only had one question. I hope this gave you a better explanation about how to use Kahoot and how you could use it in your classroom. Thank you for watching.